everyone! Welcome to the Monthly Review. The monthly show on language learning, where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses I'm about to mention are available for you right now on the website. So click the link in the description to sign up for your free lifetime account and start speaking in minutes. Okay, today's topic is how to fight language learning failure. You're going to learn, one, why people fail at learning a language, two, the two questions smart learners ask themselves so they can succeed, and three, proven ways to overcome language learning failure. But first, listen up. Here are this month's new lessons and resources. First, the new 400 Everyday Phrases for Beginners ebook. You'll love this new book because you'll be able to talk about your daily life from morning to night. You'll learn 400 practical phrases for your daily routines, like waking up, getting ready for work, even brushing your teeth and getting ready for bed. Second, do you know the 40 most common adjectives? Our new Useful Adjectives PDF Cheat Sheet gives you the 40 most common adjectives. This is a great review tool for beginners. Third, the 30 most useful pronouns. I, you, she, he, it, yours, you all. You'll learn how to say all the pronouns with this quick lesson. Fourth, 20 must-know phrases for the phone. Learn how to say, who's this? What's your phone number? And much more. With this one minute lesson, you'll quickly learn 20 phrases for the phone. To get these free lessons and resources, just click the link in the description below. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How to fight language learning failure. Let's jump into the first part. One, what is language learning failure? Just to be clear, failure is quitting or giving up. Learning at a very slow pace, taking a break, making pronunciation mistakes, or failing a language test are not real failures. So don't worry. Real failure is when you quit completely. So what causes failure? Simply put, weak spots and pain points. What do I mean by that? Think about it. If you're learning a language, you're probably aware of your weak spots. For example, most beginners can read, but can't speak well. So not speaking as well as you hoped. That's a weak spot or a pain point for you. Others have problems with motivation, no time. They don't stick with resources and jump from one to another. Or maybe they have trouble sticking with goals. Leave a comment right now and tell me what your weak spot is. Whatever it is, if you don't address it now, this weak spot or pain point may become the reason you fail. And if you think about it, most people quit directly because of these pain points. No time, no motivation, can't stick to goals, not fun enough, or they're just not speaking as well as they dreamed. So they quit on their dream. But you're a smart language learner. So what should you do differently? Part two, the two questions smart learners ask themselves so they can succeed. Just a quick warning, if you're happy with your learning routine or if you've just started, you don't have to ask these two questions now, but you will need them later. Here they are. You should ask, one, what are my weak points? And two, what am I going to do about them? So let's do the first one. One, what are my weak points? And the answers to this question are fairly common. Not enough time, not enough motivation, can't speak the language well, I can't stick to goals, I can't stick to a resource and I tend to jump around. So answer this question. Once you've identified your needs and problems, ask yourself the second question. Two, what am I going to do about them? Pay close attention here because this question is what separates the successful language learners from the rest. Everyone knows their weak points. And yes, it's good to identify problems, but it's much more important to have solutions because it's one thing to spot problems and feel smart, but it's another thing to actually take action and fix them. So that's where the real smarts are. How do you take action? What are some learning tactics that actually work? Part three, ways to beat language learning failure. Let's attack some common weak spots that cause people to fail and quit. By the end, you'll start to see how to resolve common problems, you'll come up with your unique approaches, and you'll get into the habit of coming up with solutions. So, one common weak spot is, you're low on time. 
If you're low on time, the easiest thing you can do is learn for only five minutes a day. Set a timer, listen to a lesson, and shut it off after five minutes. This will help you get used to learning. And at some point, you'll want to increase your time. That's why our lessons are three to 15 minutes long, to make learning easy and to make it so time is not an issue. Another thing you can do is learn on the go with our free app. If you're on the train, at the gym, or walking to a store, you can transform this dead time into learning time and learn a bit of language. Be sure to download our Innovative Language 101 app for free on the App Store or Google Play. You're low on motivation. Next, if you're low on motivation, maybe you'd do better with a teacher, someone who will interact with you and encourage you to succeed. You can learn with one with our Premium Plus program. You can't speak well. If speaking is your weak point, the best thing to do here is just practice more. If you're taking our lessons, read the lesson dialogue out loud. Reading out loud is the quick and easy way to practice speaking on your own. Or write down or memorize a lesson dialogue and practice it out loud three times a day for a week. You can't stick with goals. If you can't stick with a five minute a day routine, then maybe you need someone else to take charge and teach you. So you should get a teacher or join an actual language class where you have no choice but to show up. You don't know enough grammar. If you want to learn grammar, take our audio lessons on the site. In every lesson, you'll get a conversation. Afterward, our teachers explain every word and grammar rule used inside. So you actually get to see how the grammar is used instead of just reading about rules. You can also use learning pathways to get courses and lessons that are specifically dedicated to improving your grammar. These are just a few ways to address your weak spots and pain points. There's a lot more we can cover. But the most important thing you need to remember is to ask yourself, what are my weak points? And what am I going to do about them? Asking and acting on that second question is what will put you on a track to fluency and will help you avoid language learning failure. So what are your weak points? What are you going to do about them? So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to write 1,000 words in your target language in five minutes a day. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye.